Sounds like you should be thanking me for solving your snake problem. Wait. So it was you who opened up the holes. What? No. I'm just saying, whoever did do it was totally doing you a solid. He's probably a really cool and nice guy. Hmm. Did anyone else see Pup? Yep, I saw a Pup. With my telescope. You mean my telescope? That's what I said. My telescope. Where did you see him? Well, me and Pepper were feuding again, as so I moved my trailer to Mint River. He took a lichen to this bird. Uh, yep, a bird made for lichen. I was admiring this bird till I was hit with a hunger, with a hunger. So I ordered a donut by way of this donut county county app. Then the hole came. <laughs> the hole came. The hole came. I took a lichen. Look at that. Wait. Look at this dog. Look, there's fish in the yard. I just want you to appreciate how derpy this dog is. Yeah. What? I just want to watch this dog for a bit. <laughs> Do you think that they were trying to animate it so it acted normal, but it was acting like that? And they, and they were, just left it? And their friend was like, no. Better this keep way. It. Keep it like this. I'm saving Doggo for last. Get in here. Sorry, I had to be this way, doggy. Oh. Ooh, he's taking a liking to that leggy bird. Taking a shine into that bird. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. That bird's legs are a little too luscious for my liking. It's a little upsetting. Oh, I gotta, like, soak water into my... Ah, uh, That's annoying. Huh. They're adding another dimension to it, even though it doesn't really make sense. Hmm. Can I, like... Oh! Oh! oh. Fish. Look how luscious those birds look. Oh, don't, are. don't scoop up the bird quite yet. Mm. And now all the fish are just hanging around. I can't be the only person who's upset by how luscious that, that bird's legs are. It's like how Toby Fox keeps putting luscious legs on weird things, and everyone's like, what? Toby Fox. Creator of Undertale. Oh. He doesn't even try to escape. He just goes back to looking at the bird. Oh, man. Great delivery. I just couldn't keep my eyes off that bird's luscious legs. I'm delicious. So what is this guy? They're called salt and pepper, but... If uh, what? I was just trying to figure out what animal they are, if they're an animal. I think they're salt and pepper shakers if you look at their faces. Got it's it. just three holes. Uh-huh. Portable outhouse. A uh, ukulele piece, bottom, half of a mouse guitar, has the word forever carved into it. Fast food tray, free sled. Drink cup, press the buttons on top to select your flavor. <laughs> fries holder, extremely terrible way to keep your fries safe. Let me know if every time you ever got one of those things you always press all pressed the all the holes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> extremely terrible way to keep your fries safe. River fish, you can tell the fish your secrets, they won't remember anything. Tennis ball. Tennis balls only grow in hard to reach places. What if the t fish actually don't want you to know that they will remember so that later they can sell your secrets to blackmailers? Oh, no! And they actually, because I've seen videos of people training their fish tricks. Mm. I've seen it. Unless that's a scam. I've fish seen tricks. it. Fish tricks. Like teaching their fish tricks and people are like, oh, fish only have a memory of two seconds. And I'm like, what if that's a fake, that's like a fake fact 
propagated by the fish black market of secrets. I'm having like vague memories of what was it like squirrels? There's a movie where the squirrels not a movie. There's a I just remember seeing like where the squirrels are like we finally convinced them that like we're completely innocuous like you're just we're harmless creatures. Stacy, what if that what if the reason you're having trouble remembering is because you actually witnessed that in real life? I witnessed a squirrel conversation. You witnessed a squirrel conversation as a child and then they like had to brainwash no, you to forget. It's from It's something. real. It happened, Stacy. Stop repressing oh, it. Oh no. It's real. It happened. It's like the two squirrels that are like talking on walkie-talkies in the tree and they're like, "Shit, did that kid just see us?" It happened. Wow. Don't let them brainwash you anymore. Somebody, somebody in the Get comments woke. knows what this is from. No, because they're going to say, I too also witnessed a squirrel conversation and then they kidnapped me. Is it is it, is it birds that the that society is like birds are actually drones made by the government? This looks like kink Dr- shit. Drinking bird. Tell me how to, get, how to get ate by a bird. Tell me. What is that? It seems like a Tumblr post about kinks. Mm-hmm. It's wrong. Sorry, what were you saying? Birds aren't real.com. What? Yeah. <laughs> Bird, birds aren't real. Wake yourself up from the lie. Resist the bird drones. Hold on. Click on that link. Yeah. You haven't heard of this before? No? Yeah. Wait a second. Hold on. Truth seekers. Did you already know about this? I did. Hold on. We need to put this on screen. Pause for a second. This is a transformative work. Birds are not real. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. No, that's Instagram. There you go. Oh, they're sold- selling things. Hold on, go down. We needed a way to keep an eye on the American citizens without them knowing. It was imperative for their own safety, of course. We hired only the best. It took years. We designed, built, tested, failed. We persisted. Eventually, over decades, we had it. A fleet of covert technological surveillance devices unlike anything the world had ever seen. We called them birds. (laughs) Richard Nixon, 1978. Recent surveys have revealed that 99.5% of the general public still believe in birds. I know. I was shocked, too. That said, it is our duty as bird truthers to remove the blinders from our eyes and welcome them into the light of truth. Together, we can shift society's perception of what flies above us. This is unbelievable how realistic they were able to do that. It sounds exactly like all those other conspiracies. Wow. So are you saying you're, like, in love with a bird? Hmm. Yup. Is that legal? Well, everyone's animals. BK, it's not about the bird. It, it is, is about the bird! That's, that's oh, me. Okay. It is about the bird. Mira, it is about the bird. <laughs> that's why I said, why is those... Why is that bird's leg so luscious? Mm -hmm. Because we were remembering through the eyes of salt. And he was remembering the luscious legs of that bird. Mm -hmm. You're hopeless, dude. Maybe the true lesson of this game is how everyone's uncovering the trauma of having to know that salt is a bird fucker. Helpless! We're all hopeless now! Coyote! I thought you moved away to the desert. I did. BK must be targeting folks who are down on their luck. Coyote, you're the original owner of the Donut County Donut Shop, right? Yeah, but it went out of business. When the raccoons moved into town, I sold the raccoons the shop and moved out to the desert. The fox looks like EJ. Fox? I mean, Coyote. Oh no, I'm sorry, Coyote. Can't be helped. A coyote's life is like a sad country tune. And it acts like EJ too. <laughs> I made a modest living selling vegetables. Suppose it was my way of giving back to folks. Aww. I watched this video. You have to deploy the hole. <laughs> Deploying hole. I'm like, what? Yeah, deploy the hole. 
I watched this Japanese TV show episode where uh, this Japanese housewife, she adopted this street dog after an earthquake. Uh-huh. And Did the dog eat her? No. Stacy. Oh. Stacy. What? Please. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> well, I mean, every time you bring up stuff like this, something bad happens. So no. I was just trying to... No, I do not. You yeah. just want something bad to happen because you're like... Like a sadist or something. I don't know. Go get the rock and then you can. Anyway, this housewife, she's like, all our other dogs are perfectly fit. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, oh, it made popcorn. Fly away, birds. Like, respect yourself. Don't be roasted. Um. She was like, I, we don't understand why our one dog is so fat and the other ones are just fine. So can you find out why our dog is so fat? Uh-huh. And so they, like, followed the dog around. And it's just like they had to put on a disguise as pretending to be a pole, but it turns out the dog didn't care. Anyway. Uh-huh. It's just the story of how this dog is so fat because they... Oh. They end up going all around town, and everyone that it meets, they, like, feed it. Like, Pocky and stuff. Oh, no. And then, like, he goes to this one woman's house, and she's like, oh, I know that dog. I give him baths. And then, like, they're like, oh, we like this dog. He comes over to say hello to our dog, and we give it food. Mm -hmm. And then he goes to the grocery store, and they're like, oh, yeah, we don't know who that dog is, but he comes over all the time just to, like, hang out. And get food. And get food. <laughs> And then every day, some stranger picks him up and takes him back to his house. <laughs> like, in a car. Corn cob. Someday, everything will be made of corn. Corn cart. Why waste a good cart on anything besides hot dogs? Mesa. Rocks were given to us by aliens. Fact. Milk crate. This is probably the worst place to pour milk into. Camping soup bowl. Try washing yourself a soup. You might feel good. Hmm. Hmm. I'm imagining that sensation that brought these Camping feel. tent. Fake house that's easy to steal from. <laughs> um, so on Christmas Eve, instead of having like a Christmas movie on the television, we go over to my aunt's house and she's watching the History Channel's special on like aliens. Is like, it a Christmas special on aliens? No, no, no. Aww. It was the special of how like aliens have like been breeding with humans with that guy Georgios with the crazy hair. Are they, like, reptile aliens, or is, like, everybody just part alien now? I mean... Or is it just... No, they're, the saying, upper... they're saying, like, human DNA, at some point, there was, like, a jump in how different it is so clearly... So what you're saying is Battlestar Galactica's ending really happened. Oh, yeah, I never watched the end of that. Spoilers! They find Earth and fuck a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> they find... A they go to Earth, and then they're like, these people have similar DNA to us, so we're just going to have sex with them. And then that's the beginning. I thought it was like a angels or something. There was angels, too. God uh. led them to Earth. Oh. And it was weird. <laughs> Hurl me into a dumpster. I'm reading different parts of that tiny thing. I just thought you were telling me how you felt. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can it be both? Yeah. Anyway, that's my sad story. It looks like AJ. BK, don't you have something to say to Coyote? Yeah. Vegetables stink. Yeah. Well... <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, like an apology. I'm sorry you think vegetables taste good. <laughs> uh, maybe they do stink. I suppose my sweet tooth was feeling lonesome, and that's why I ordered a donut from y'all. See, Mira? Why should I apologize for delivering this pathetic, vegetable-eating coyote to a, a donut? You've wrecked his business. Twice. And stop saying you deliver donuts. What exactly do you think donuts are? Who can say? Exactly. Who can say? <laughs> Roma gets it. What is a donut without a hole? What is that thing? I think they're armadillos. Oh. Wow, very good question. 
We should really stop to ponder this for as long as possible. <laughs> um, a donut without a hole is still a donut. Yeah, like jelly donuts, long johns, fritters. Donut holes? Wait, donut holes don't have holes? They don't have they don't have holes. They are the hole. <laughs> wow, that's pretty deep. Hashtag deep. Don't change the subject, BK. Nikki, Roma, you two just moved to Hopper Springs, right? Yes, we moved out here for our retirement. That leg is freaking me out. To watch the bunnies. Bunnies at the heart. Nikki and I married 40 years. Did you order a donut too? Boma got a new phone. So we ordered donuts to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Deploying. Oh, look at all the bunnies. Little bunny butts. Bang. Blop. I have to admit, this game does feel a little incomplete without the Katamari Damacy soundtrack. I know, we should just like... Maybe we can just like play the music. <laughs> oh, so cute! Oh, you have to open the... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Maybe you can- Oh, wait! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Maybe you have to go get the other ones to come down. I know you want it. Come on. Hello? Oh. What? Oh, here he is. Big boy's coming. Yay. Got your GF. Got your BF. Maybe you can... Oh. More bunnies! They're fucking in the hole. They're fucking. Wait, have you ever heard of that story where, like... Or I saw a comic where... Two bunnies are stuck in a hole, and they said, it's okay, love will get us out of here, and they just keep fucking. Until and creating they make... bunnies until they can climb up the pile of their children and escape. Yeah. So anyway, love. Or whatever, I guess. Love will keep us together. We'll sacrifice our children like in that one creepy episode of Rick and Morty. I find this upsetting. Hmm. It's kind of disturbing. <laughs> I'm thinking about it's, the horrible thing. There's just gonna fate. be bunnies that just explode out at some point. I just like, I'm a little upset thinking about bunnies stuck in a hole just forever. Did you, did you ever watch The Outer Limits? So there's this one episode of The Outer Limits that always- Oh! You called it, Stacy. <laughs> wow. There's this one episode of The Outer Limits where, like, this guy is, like, building a well or something, but he, like, sends down some food or whatever, and there's, like, aliens stuck or- Like, there's, like, some creatures stuck in the well, and if he sends down food, they- send back an equal amount of like by weight treasures and stuff mm -hmm. like alien gold or whatever so he's making tons of money mm -hmm. and he keeps sending more and more stuff and like he's like sick of his wife and like people in his life so he starts sending down the people and he just pulls it back up and gets treasure and just the like the unsaid thing of like these people are being put down there and they're like eating the people because mm -hmm. they don't know these creatures that live down there that they're eating people they're just like food okay yeah carrot small one of the most random vegetables that episode of outer limit always wow why is it so big <laughs> carrots grow sorry i thought that one might have been carrots grow underground and are therefore extremely untrustworthy imagine loving carrots so much you wanted to live inside one 
Bunnies love to chew on stuff because of their evil nature. Bunnies want to destroy everything and they don't know why. It's true. Remember my old bunny? Punny. Punny. Short for Punisher. Mm-hmm. I miss him. Cute, but I will not be fooled. You ever just, like, remember when we used to think he was calling us a cunt all the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had, like, the meanest bunny. I bet I loved him so much. But, like, he would just look at you being like, what the fuck do you want? Yeah. I'd be like, what I, am I love you. What am I even doing here? I love you, Penny. I fucking hate you. Yeah, he used to growl and karate chop people if he didn't want to, like, hang out. He did it a lot less to me, but he would still karate chop me sometimes. There's no taste like fresh dirt. Dirt spoon. Sorry I don't do all of them. I don't want it to... Yeah. 